Welcome to this complete Fukuoka Japan guide, the city where ancient temples meet modern architecture and where tranquility finds its place amidst the hustle and bustle. Nestled on the northern shore of Japan's Kyushu Island, Fukuoka is a city of contrasts and a melting pot of cultures. From the serenity of Ohori Park to the vibrant Momochi Seaside Park, we'll be your guide to 10 must-see attractions in this captivating city. So buckle up as we embark on a journey through the city of Fukuoka, starting with a visit to Ohori Park. Our first stop, Ohori Park, is a city oasis that offers picturesque views and a tranquil atmosphere. Once the moat of a castle, this park now cradles a large pond at its heart as serene as the history it upholds. The pond, a mirror to the sky, is divided into three islands, each offering its unique charm. Strolling around this natural wonder, you'll find a blend of history and modernity. The park's stone bridges whisper tales of ancient times while joggers pass by, lost in their thoughts. The park is also home to a no theatre, where traditional performances breathe life into the olden tales. There's something for everyone here, whether you're a fan of boating, bird watching, or simply basking in the beauty of nature. As the sun sets, the park transforms into a lantern-lit paradise, reflecting the city's vibrant life. From the tranquility of Ohori Park, we now move to the historical Fukuoka Castle Ruins. Stepping into the Fukuoka Castle Ruins is like walking back in time. These remnants of a once grand fortress tell tales of a bygone era of samurais and shoguns. Constructed in the early 17th century, the castle was a strategic stronghold, its walls bearing silent witness to countless historic events. The architectural design of the castle is a testament to the ingenuity of the period. With intricate fortifications, massive stone walls and towering watchtowers, it's a marvel of ancient engineering. Despite being in ruins, the castle's essence remains, whispering stories of its glorious past. Perched on a hill, the castle grounds offer panoramic views of the city. From here, Fukuoka unfolds like a picturesque scroll painting, a blend of modernity and tradition. As the sun sets, the city lights twinkle, creating a mesmerizing spectacle. From relics of the past, we now journey to a modern marvel, the Canal City Hakata. Canal City Hakata, a city within a city, is an architectural masterpiece. This innovative complex with its sinuous lines and water features is more than just a shopping center, it's a sensory experience. Designed by the acclaimed architect John Gerde, it's a work of art that you can walk through, shop in and dine at. Here, you'll find a plethora of shops catering to all tastes, from high-end fashion labels to quirky boutiques. But Canal City isn't just about retail therapy, the dining options are as diverse as they are delicious, offering an array of culinary delights that span the globe. When it comes to entertainment, Canal City doesn't disappoint either. With a theatre, cinema and even a canal running through it, this place is always buzzing with activity. So, whether you're looking for a unique shopping experience, a gastronomic adventure or just a taste of Fukuoka's vibrant city life, Canal City Hakata has it all. From the bustling Canal City, we ascend to the heights of Fukuoka Tower. Soaring above the cityscape, Fukuoka Tower offers breathtaking views. Now, imagine a structure that reaches for the sky, standing tall at an impressive 234 meters. This is Fukuoka Tower, an iconic symbol of the city. The tower, with its mirrored facade reflecting the changing moods of the sky, is a sight to behold. Prepare to be swept off your feet as you ascend to the observation deck. This isn't just any observation deck, it's a vantage point that offers a panoramic view of the city and the sea. The bustling city sprawls beneath you while the sea stretches out to the horizon, a sight that will surely leave you speechless. And as night falls, the tower transforms. It lights up, becoming a beacon in the night sky, its illumination changing with the seasons and for special events. From modern heights, we delve into the traditional charm of Hakata Machia Folk Museum. Hakata Machia Folk Museum is a window into Fukuoka's rich cultural history. Here, nestled in the heart of the city, is a treasure trove of tradition and heritage. The museum's architecture, a perfect replica of a machia, a traditional merchant house, is a testament to Hakata's storied past. Walk through the wooden corridors and feel the whisper of bygone eras. Marvel at the meticulous displays, each offering a glimpse into the daily life of the Hakata people centuries ago. From intricate Hakata Ori textiles to the delicate Hakata dolls, each exhibit is a story waiting to be told. 
The museum is not just a showcase of static displays, but a living, breathing testament to tradition. Witness cultural demonstrations like the weaving of traditional Hakata textiles or the crafting of the famed Hakata dolls. Each thread spun, each stroke of the artist's brush brings the past alive. From the cultural depth of the museum, we journey to the spiritual Nanzoan Temple. Nanzoan Temple, home to the world's largest reclining Buddha, is a spiritual sanctuary. Nestled in the scenic Sasaguri area of Fukuoka, this temple is more than just an attraction. Its history spans centuries, tracing back to the Edo period. Despite its age, Nanzon Temple has maintained its captivating allure, drawing seekers from around the globe. Its most stunning feature, the reclining Buddha, is an embodiment of divine serenity. Carved from bronze, it stretches over 41 meters long, dwarfing onlookers with its majestic presence. This grand depiction of Buddha entering Nirvana is not only a sight to behold, but also a testament to the temple's spiritual significance. Nanzuin Temple is more than just its iconic Buddha statue. Its tranquil ambience, punctuated by the soft rustling of leaves and the distant hum of chanting monks, offers a respite from the bustling city life. From the spiritual Nanzuin Temple, we head to the Uminonakamichi Seaside Park. Uminonakamichi Seaside Park is a seaside oasis offering various attractions. Nestled on a peninsula, this park boasts a layout that offers an ideal blend of natural beauty and recreational facilities. As you journey through the park, you'll discover an array of meticulously maintained flower gardens. They bloom in a riot of colors, changing their vibrant palette with the seasons and serve as a living testament to the harmonious interplay between humans and nature. Adding to the park's charm is an animal park, a delightful spot where you can observe and interact with a variety of creatures. From friendly kangaroos to vibrant flamingos, the animal park is a hit with animal lovers of all ages. Finally, the park's beach is a sight to behold. Its inviting sandy expanse and soothing ocean waves provide the perfect backdrop for a relaxing day out. From the seaside park, we head to the sacred Dazaifu Tenmangu Shrine. Dazaifu Tenmangu Shrine is a haven for students and a place of divine beauty. Nestled in the heart of Fukuoka, this sacred shrine boasts a rich history steeped in tradition and reverence. The shrine was built over a thousand years ago in honor of Sugawara no Mikizane, a scholar and politician now deified and worshipped as the god of learning. Today, students from all over Japan flock to the shrine seeking divine intervention for success in their studies. But the shrine isn't just about academics. It's a testament to Japan's beautiful blend of history and nature. Surrounding the shrine is a sea of over 6,000 plum trees. Their blossoms are sight to behold in early spring. Each tree is a silent witness to the countless prayers whispered beneath their branches. Their blossoms are a symbol of the resilience and beauty of Japanese culture. From the sacred shrine, we visit the tranquil Shofukuji Temple. Shofukuji Temple, the birthplace of Zen Buddhism in Japan, is a place of peace and tranquility. Established in the 12th century, this serene sanctuary is a testament to the enduring spiritual heritage of the country. Its history is as rich as the ancient cedars that stand guard over its tranquil grounds. The temple's significance cannot be understated. It's here that Zen Buddhism took root in Japan, forever shaping the nation's religious and cultural landscape. A walk through Shofukuji's quiet courtyards, past its ancient pagodas and under its centuries-old gates, is like stepping back in time. The atmosphere is one of profound peace. The air seems to hold its breath in reverence, while the surrounding trees whisper ancient wisdom in the breeze. It's an oasis of calm in the bustling city of Fukuoka, an invitation to pause, reflect and reconnect with your inner self. From the tranquil temple, we end our journey at the vibrant Momochi Seaside Park. Ending our journey at the Momochi Seaside Park, a modern beachfront offering leisure and entertainment. This vibrant locale is a delightful blend of sandy shores and contemporary architecture, a testament to Fukuoka's dynamic spirit. Imagine yourself strolling along the beach, the gentle sea breeze rustling your hair, and the mellifluous sound of waves lapping against the shore providing the perfect soundtrack. This is the essence of Momochi Seaside Park. The area is surrounded by eye-catching modern architecture, each building a marvel in its own right. It's a striking contrast to the traditional Japanese scenery we've seen earlier, but it's this fusion that makes Fukuoka so unique. 
And let's not forget the leisure activities, from beach volleyball to savouring local cuisine at oceanfront restaurants, there's something for everyone at Momochi Seaside Park. As the sun sets at Momochi Seaside Park, we conclude our journey through Fukuoka, a city that beautifully blends tradition and modernity. Until next time, sayonara. <laughs>